This was my first uh, trip with Sakma to the fly-in event. And uh, what I want to say is Sakma opened the door um, that, I, that I never knew was there. The support and training that Sakma gives you before you go to meet these people just makes the day very effective. I had some really good meetings, um, some people that I think understood uh, the significant issues that we were trying to talk about, but also some folks that didn't have a lot of knowledge, so it was a great opportunity to do some educating. Um, there's also opportunity for follow-up, which I think is also good to have more than one touch point with folks, I think makes the message more memorable. It was very nice to have uh, first-hand contact with the actual uh, policymakers you know, and direct uh, conduit with the, the staffers to be able to voice uh, immediate concerns relevant to the businesses and its development and the, the challenges that we face. We're able to express that. It's, it's been great. I think we definitely made some people think about some things. I mean, we, did, we got into a discussion about the EU Amer US trade uh, agreement and REACH implicate, you know, REACH versus TOSCA. Um, we got to talk a little bit about why a REACH like system wouldn't be, uh, you know, what the issues would be for a company like mine. And definitely, I think we had a few aha moments with some staffers that they really didn't understand what reach would mean for a company like mine in the U.S., much less what we're having to do to be able to, uh, you know, import chemicals into the EU, EU right now. We talked about R&D tax credits primarily because uh, we're a, a small chemical plant, a small batch plant, and the R&D tax credits are very important to us securing new business. We'd like to make them permanent instead of renewing them every three, four years. Um, and they all agreed. They all agreed, which was a great thing. So uh, I hope I contributed a little bit to getting the uh, R&D tax credit permanent. Well, my two major issues of concern were TASCA reform and uh, conflict minerals. So the Lautenberg bill, which has uh, in the past been called the Safe Chemicals Act, is problematic for business for a number of reasons, including uh, it doesn't protect confidential business information, um, it increases the review period from 90 days to 180 days. There's no judicial review, so problematic for business. Uh, after this year, I, I really have to make sure that no matter what is happening at home, I, I get here because I see how important those conversations are.